Prince Harry rages at Trey Parker and Matt Stone for mocking 40th birthday. Sussex become the global laughing stock. In the glitzy realm of celebrity culture, few events spark as much chatter as a royal birthday bash. But when that birthday belongs to Prince Harry, the stakes are raised not only by the guest list, but also by the potential for satire. Enter Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the ingenious minds behind South Park, whose razor-sharp wit has often skewered the powerful and privileged. When the duo decided to poke fun at Harry's 40th birthday, the result was a firestorm of reactions, turning the Sussexes into the latest global laughingstock. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. Prince Harry's 40th birthday was initially set to be a celebration of resilience, personal growth, and a new chapter in his life. After stepping back from royal duties, Harry and his wife Meghan Markle embraced a new lifestyle in California, where they sought to redefine their public personas. The couple aimed to present themselves as champions of mental health, social justice, and charitable endeavors. As the day approached, anticipation grew. Would there be star-studded appearances? Lavish gifts? Perhaps a heartfelt speech that would tug at the heartstrings of millions? Instead, what unfolded was a comedic portrayal that would land like a lead balloon among the royal family, particularly for Harry. Parker and Stone have built their careers on outrageous humor, often tackling sensitive subjects with a playful irreverence. Their recent episode featuring Prince Harry and Meghan was no exception. The show depicted a caricature of the couple, complete with exaggerated accents and outlandish antics that lampooned their celebrity status. In a particular sketch, Harry is shown hosting a lavish birthday party, attended by a who's who of Hollywood elite. However, instead of the fun-filled gathering one might expect, the episode spirals into chaos, with guests engaging in absurd behavior that parodies the very essence of Hollywood excess. The satire struck a nerve, capturing the essence of what many see as the Sussex's perceived attachment from reality. It didn't take long for the backlash to reach Harry's ears. Reports surfaced that he was raging at the creators, feeling that the mockery crossed a line. After all, this was his special milestone, a day meant for celebration. One can imagine him watching the episode, initially chuckling at the humor, only to feel the sting of ridicule seep in as the plot unfolded. Harry's anger wasn't just rooted in the comedic portrayal, but also in the underlying implications. For a couple that has faced relentless scrutiny and criticism since their decision to step back from royal duties, this public mockery felt like another jab at their already fragile public image. The irony of a prince being ridiculed for seeking a normal life in an extraordinary world was not lost on him. As the episode aired, social media erupted. Memes proliferated, and hashtags like hashtag Sussex Laughingstock began trending. The world was divided. Some found the episode hilarious, appreciating the sharp wit of Parker and Stone, while others empathized with Harry and Meghan, viewing the jest as a cruel reminder of their struggles. Critics of the couple seized the moment to further their narrative, suggesting that their attempts to distance themselves from royal life only made them more susceptible to ridicule. Look at them, some commentators exclaimed. They wanted to be regular people, but they can't escape the spotlight. This sentiment echoed across various platforms reinforcing the idea that the Sussexes, despite their intentions, were trapped in a cycle of public mockery. But why does this matter? Why do the antics of a couple in the spotlight resonate so deeply with the public? The answer lies in our collective fascination with celebrity culture. We are drawn to stories of triumph and struggle, especially when they involve figures who seem larger than life yet are also deeply flawed.